Hello, it's Sandy again from SpectrumNile.com. Um, today we're going to be looking at um, stamping over multi-layers um, and using our Spectrum Sparkle pens. So this is where we're aiming to get today. So I will move the finished example out of the way um, so I can get going. And it may be a small excuse to, to show my new diamond press. He's absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to put him down there and we're going to grab my very well-loved embossing file. The great thing is for me was the, the, the no platforms. That was the selling point of the uh, diamond press for me because it means that I can literally just put my die on the card, close it up and hold it and then just feed it into the machine and he grabs it and that's it. It's done chucked it out to the side all done beautifully so these are from um, the extra set, set of dies that have come out with the launch um, and yes I did have to have all of them and I've gone for the large diamond because it was the everyone's doing hexagons so I thought I would start with diamonds so we need four of these um, so I will quickly run these through. Except my card's a little bit too wide. I thought I'd cut it to size and I obviously hadn't. See, good prep. A bit of card won't fit. Right, now, now a bit of card actually fits inside the embossing folder. Let's get this cut. There's something about starting a video that means you then can't do anything. So there you go, that's the next one done. And we'll turn it around. And we'll do the next one. I wouldn't have even attempted to, to cut four of these on video. I would have had them all prepped if um, I was using my cut and boss, um, but I guess that was the, the fabulous thing as I wanted to show you for desktop crafting. When you're doing these little quick and easy and quick and simple type um, clean and simple cards is that actually I, I want to use everything. I want it all to be on my desktop and I want to be able to see it and, and play with it. And so I don't want it all hidden away in dirty great big folders like the rest of my dies are. So there we go, that's number four. So we'll put that over there and we will put the die over there to be put back away later. And there's my folder. I'm just going to store that in there because I am in a habit of losing it and move my little press out of the way. Okay, right. Now I'm going to be using a stamp from uh, Sheena Douglas. And it's actually one of her, her gorgeous butterflies. And you can't see that very well. So I'm just going to grab the back of my card. Um, and this is one of the ones that came with the Crafters Inspiration magazine. So that's why it's a clear set. Um, and not the rubber, the rubber stamps that, that come out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our four diamonds. And we're going to join them together really quick and simply so they'll go together to make one big diamond so we're going to use low tack tape and we're going to use quite a bit of it because I don't want it to move while I'm stamping, stamping and colouring so I'm just going to join those two together there and then join that one onto there And then slot that one in just there. If I do that side, last one, which would trick it, went perfectly earlier. Isn't that the way? There we go, and then I'll we'll stick that one down there. Right. <coughs> That's 
and then when we turn it back over we've got this complete diamond so I'm now going to use some archival ink and because I'm going to be using the sparkle pens it needs to be a permanent ink so I'm going to stamp on and I'm using um, coffee because it's a bit softer um, when it's finished than the black and I don't really want it to stand out quite that much um, so I'm going to go over and treat this as one shape now so I'm going to build a pattern with two impressions of this gorgeous butterfly and you could use the dragonfly or flowers look absolutely brilliant doing this technique um, and you can um, obviously try with them if you have got the, the fabulous shape sets or um, then you can try different shapes um, and that is as far as we want to go as far as stamping is concerned so I'll just clean it off my stamp so it doesn't get any messier okay right so there we go now we have this stamped butterfly on our joined diamonds to make one big diamond pattern right okay so sparkle pens um, and these are from the spring summer set um, and although I used them earlier on I am gonna give them a quick 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 shake um, and I'm going to start with the pink I think and this one is called Cosmos and it is in the spring summer 12 set which is where they're all coming from today so with the with the pink I'm going to go just the bottom end just the closest to to the little butterfly's body straight on and I'm going to do that to both butterflies so I'm not worrying too much about the lines on the butterfly so I'm going to come like that okay so and then come back round that side there you go and um, we'll just show you how that looks now yep you are that all right and then I'm going to add the blue which is moonstone so I'll give it a quick shake because all of mine have already been primed um, and much loved and used since they came out so I'm going to go around the edge I'm not joining them in the middle not yet Okay, I'm going to run that little hole and I quite like it when it misses these um, little pieces out because it gives the stamping more of a um, distressed feel even though that wasn't quite what I intended but hey ho right and now I am going to use the clear in the 12 sets you get the clear but you can buy them in a set of three um, on their own and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do little circles dragging the pink into the blue and the blue into the pink just so I can join soften the edge of the blue and soften the edge of the pink in circular motions and because they're so pale it's not actually making a new colour as such but it is blending the two together very, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean let me just do I'll just do this one little circular motions all the way along and show you let me get this a little bit closer to the camera and you can see how just how soft and pretty that is and then we're going to add some pink champagne which is actually more of a, um, a peachy colour I'm going to add it to this little spot on, his, on the butterfly's wing there and I'm going to go over the body with it and there isn't any down this side because all his body's cut off so I'm just going to put a line across as if to give him a little nod towards having his pinky peach body right, now I'm going to go back to the pink and I'm going to go back over areas I did first and this second layer really does deepen 
deepen the colours. If you contrast them from when I did them just now, you'll see how much darker that one is now. And then we'll do exactly the same. Give a quick shake, back over with the blue. And again, it's just intensifying that colour. Um, and what I do do like to do with the blue because um, I wanted this peachy orangey colour for his body is I'm just going to take a little piece of this cool blue and just run down the very sides of the butterfly's body nearly said bottom the butterfly's body there just to give it a little bit of dimension okay, run it down and off the end. There we go. Right, well, so we go back in with our clear and then we mix the two together again. Just nice and gently. Don't go too far into either colour. Just on the very, so you're looking at the very edge of each with this absolutely gorgeous Japanese nib that's on the um, Spectrum Sparkles. It really is quite addictive to start playing with. Once you start colouring with them, you really don't want to put them down. So there we go. Let me just... Small little circles just to blend this piece in there. There we go. And now, the last final touch is we've got all of this around the edge. So I'm just going to get a good flow going on my clear. Um, and the trick with doing big areas, because um, I'm now going to use the clear to, to make all of the tile shimmering, um, is not to go too fast, because the ink is, um, it's a water-based ink, and it is flowing down through the pen. And obviously if I speed up too much, I'm going faster than the ink is flowing. So sometimes if that's why you're getting you're um, having to, to keep pushing to get more ink down. Try slowing slowing down um, to allow the ink, the ink to flow properly and nice and evenly flow like that. But if I go too fast, I'm tr spreading less over the area and eventually I'll just stop getting some because I'll have gone faster than the ink. There we go. And I'm hoping that you can see that. But what I'm going to do is, so I'm, 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 that's it. That's our tile all done. And hopefully if I can try and catch the light, that you should be able to see that sparkling. There you go. Right, so that all that leaves us is um, I have used some, some pale blue um, coordinations card that matched with the thing um, and layered it up on another layer because I like dimension um, onto an A6 card um, that was just uh, make sure the inside matches the outside okay so um, I will grab let me just I'll just show you for, so you can see so it's a piece, the piece of the blue um, and normally you would wait for these to dry. Just grab one. There we go. It's the first one off. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that. There's the next one. And the next one. And there's the last one. Okay, so then it's just like a little mini jigsaw puzzle. No. So we're gonna fit these together. Rubbish at jigsaws. <laughs> Seriously. I know. That's the new version. Um, and you could have, you know, quite easily have um, matted that onto pink or whatever colours you do, and it would look just as nice on pink. So there we go. That was our tiling using the fabulous shapes from the new Spectrum 
um, Craft Companion product with a diamond press and we've put together this, this tiled shimmery look. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.